In this video, we are looking at finding the circumference of a circle. From video G9A, there are a few key words you need to know for this lesson. First of all, you need to know that circumference is just the distance all the way around a circle. In other words, it is the perimeter of a circle. Circumference is just the special word we use for perimeter of a circle. Next, you need to know what this is here. This is a radius. It's the distance from the centre of the circle to the circumference. You also need to know what diameter means. The diameter is twice the radius. It is simply the distance between two points on the circle that are joined by a line that goes through the centre. In this case, the diameter would be six centimetres. That is double the radius, which is three centimetres. Now let's have a look at the first example. We want to find the circumference of this circle. That is the distance all the way around the circle. And we have a formula for this. The circumference is simply pi times the diameter. In this circle, we haven't been given the diameter. We've only been given the radius, which is three centimetres. But if we know the radius, we can easily work out the diameter. The diameter is going to be twice the radius. As I've said, it's six centimetres. So we substitute the diameter, 6, into this formula. So we get pi times 6. Now, I should probably explain what this thing here is. This is the Greek letter pi, and it looks like this, but it actually just represents a number. That number is approximately 3.14. It's not exactly 3.14, the decimal expansion of this goes on forever, but what this is saying is that for any circle, if you know the diameter, you can multiply it by this number and you will get the circumference, the distance all the way around it. In other words, you can think of pi as the ratio between the diameter and the circumference of a circle. Coming back to this question then, we've got pi times six. That's the circumference of this circle. And from algebra or from lesson N8A, you know that we could simplify this to six pi. This is an exact answer in terms of pi. And the circumference, it's a length, it's a distance all the way around the shape, and we are dealing with centimeters, so our units would be centimeters. Now, six pi is an exact answer. That is exactly how many centimetres long the circumference is going to be. But it doesn't give you a rough idea quickly of how big the circumference is because you have to do this calculation six times pi. Even if you did that roughly, it's a bit of effort. So it might be more helpful to write your answer numerically. It depends on what the question is asking for. But if we were asked for a numerical answer, we could do that too. The only thing is, it wouldn't be exact. We would have to round it to a certain number of decimal places because the decimal expansion for pi, remember, goes on forever. Anyway, on a calculator, we would simply type in pi times six or six times pi. Scientific calculators do have the pi function. They've either got a dedicated pi button or you would have to press shift and some other button to get pi. Either way, when you do that calculation on a calculator, you get an answer that begins 18.849 with a load more decimal places. And we can round this to two decimal places and that would give us 18.85. And remember, we were working in centimetres. So that's 18.85 centimetres to two decimal places. In the second example, we need to work out the circumference of this circle. This time we have a diameter of eight centimetres. Remember, the diameter is the distance between two points on the circumference joined by a line that goes through the centre. So this is a diameter, which means we don't have to worry about doubling a radius like we did in the previous example. So the circumference is going to be pi times eight. And we could write that more simply as 8 pi, which would be 8 pi centimetres if we wanted an exact answer. If we wanted a numerical answer, we would have to pop that into our calculators. Putting that into your calculator, you should find an answer that begins 25.132 dot 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 goes on. And 
Rounding that to two decimal places then would give you 25.13 centimetres. Remember, you should round to as many decimal places as the question asks you for. So to summarise, to find the circumference of a circle, that's the distance all the way around it, you simply need to multiply the diameter by pi. And you can use that to give yourself an exact answer really simply, in this case, just eight pi. Or you could plug it into your calculator to get a numerical answer, but the decimals will go on forever, so you can never get an exact answer that way, but you can round it to whatever number of decimal places you need.